Welcome back everybody, this is B2Bucket7 with Jump Teddy. In the last part we fought the first boss and uh, we started on the second row, even though we should probably be going there. But let's take on this level. Let's at least finish the second row first, that'd be nice. Anyway, go. Find the exit door in time. Crouch jump. Okay. Madness occurs. Just gonna look for the power ups. What's with this closing thing anyway? So weird. There's a... There's a, the stepping block thing. Okay. Okay. I'd like to try to not die. That'd be really awesome. Okay, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be dead. Uh, can somebody please kill me? Well, the game's gonna kill me on itself, I think. Beep -boop. Okay, let's get these things. Okay. I'll take it. I know where the flower is, and I can definitely pull that off in 25 seconds. Let's do this! Okay, uh... Oh, I'm gonna have to... Oh, okay, I can... Why have I been trying to get myself killed all this time? I forgot I could restart this thing. Seems like the easiest way to get through this. But yeah, I'll just get the flower and be on with it. Okay, 25 seconds. Ow. Yeah, using the uh, the mini game to my advantage is uh, ideal for me. Yeah, 12 seconds. Not bad. Okay, so this level, collect the gems. Okay, so I have flight. I figured something would be back there. My instincts told me so. Hacking through this. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Don't you worry about it. Oh, what's this? Yeah, that seemed a little too obvious. I'm guessing another level is gonna have the wall jump, and that's gonna make things pretty interesting. 
kill. If I can pound block in time. Probably not. Alright, the master time was 75. Okay, right. That was 80. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, we got everything. Let's, uh, do this quickly now. I wonder if there could be, like, a, a super mastery thing where you collect all of the collectibles within the allotted time. That'd be interesting. Like, the teddy bear, the... Yeah, the teddy bear, the uh, flower, and the mini game all completed within the master time. I wonder if that's possible in the levels. It could be like the the ultimate mastery achievement and the ultimate source of frustration. Hooray! Mashing the space button, the best way to break my keyboard. Hooray! Ta -ta -da! And that's all of them. So, uh, second boss. Okay. I hope he's slightly tougher now. Well, there are more balls, but uh, it's hardly worth noting. Is it those guys? Are those supposed to make him more challenging? Yeah, if you don't jump on him head on, that uh, causes problems. I don't know if that's like intended, but. Yeah, it's uh. It's more annoying than challenging, I have to say. Da -da -da. Boss defeated! Okay. So I'm just gonna head on to Lava World now. Yes, I do believe that is the time for that. World Lava. Level 1, Challenge 1. Find the exit door. I don't recognize that classical song. Also, that's a polo from Mario. I don't know if that's uh, within legal rights. I am a teeny tiny bit suspicious about this, but whatever. Small oversight or whatever. Okay. Is this over there now? The key. Danger. Yeah, lava. Well, it's nice of you to warn us. Okay. Gotta find a flower now. View mode, go! Counter still goes up when you're view moding? That's, uh, that's not very nice. Where's the flower? I'm not seeing it. Maybe I just have terrible eyesight, who knows. I wouldn't put it past. Um. Oh, there it is. I'm supposed to jump over the door. Can do. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, so, Master Time 30, go! Okay, level 2. Go. World Lava. Level 2, challenge 1. Find the exit door. Power up, none. Okay. Stand explore. Uh, 
That's, uh... I'm suspicious. Can't be that easy. And it isn't. I keep dying. Poor guy. Why do I keep killing him? It's not nice. It's not nice at all. Ooh, combo. If I jump on enough enemies' heads, do I get a one-up? <laughs> okay, that was stupid, and I feel stupid for it. I got the key, and I'm gonna go up there and open up the gateway to the. Oh. Yeah, the coin noise is actually the coin noise is actually kind of loud. Ball game time! Oh boy, this should be fun. By fun, I mean this is really gonna be difficult to figure out. Okay. Oh, yellow. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Neat little twist on what was expected of you. Okay. Okay, master times 25. That should be easy. I bet I can beat 10. Yep. Is 25 the minimum default? Um, this is world lava, right? Why is it all icy? It's funny how this le these levels kind of taunt us with... Okay, yeah, that, that's not how they taunt us, but... Yeah, they taught us, they taught me, not you, they're not taunting you, you're not the one playing, stop appropriating my playingness. Anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it leads you to believe that the answer is really easy and that you can do something, but then you can't really because you don't have a power-up. did that twice in a row, I'm not sure what the point of that is. To say, oh, if only you had a power up. But you don't. How sad. Dark. Dark. Yay. Wow, that's nice. Okay. Seriously, why is this ice level all of a sudden? If I, if I was sure we were in the lava world. Also, why are there bees in the ice land? That doesn't make sense. Well, okay. The game itself doesn't make sense, so fair enough, I guess. Up -a -down. Okay, so master times 25. Okay, this is gonna be tricky, but. Or not. <laughs> Oof, almost died there. Okay, that was interesting. Level 4. Find the exit door. Power up none. Okay. I'm guessing this is where the game gets a little more puzzly. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> that was weird. Sorry. Ugh. Come on. That's wrong. That is so unbelievably wrong. 
Okay, good. Got it. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I killed you. There was not a dang thing you could do about it. A pelican. Oh, at least a birdish bird looking thing. The art for this game is actually really surreal. I mean, the backgrounds mostly. Crazy stuff. Though it doesn't really fit the theme of the lava world, you know? I mean, I don't think there's been a single level that's really felt or screamed lava at me. I mean, heck, last stage was a... a flibbity flibbin ice stage. For crying out loud. Ah. I'll get it later. The flowers in it. What? Huh? Oh, you jump in there. I have to say, I have no clue where to go. Okay, the arrows lead to where I'm supposed to go. Okay. I'm gonna follow the arrow. And I died. Okay. That I should have seen coming. Okay, I think I found a glitch. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, scrolling is weird if you try to look up while... while waving around on the platform. Okay. Trying to get the rest of this thing. Now that, I know, now that I know where the exit is, I can start going on a hunt for the other things. And stop trying to get that stupid bear for a change. Okay. Gotta be careful here. Pop. He's actually kind of slightly clever. Of course, now I have no idea how to get to that. Me or may not involve having the block around. Me or may not involve uh, staying alive. Well, actually, it probably did. I mean, staying alive is actually pretty important. So, I have fa a fair confidence in the thought that these levels all have the possibility to collect their respective elements without... Okay, I see. I see where, where I was going. I thought I had to jump in through the bottom, but no, I, need, I just need to go into a secret abode area up here. Am I, how am I going to do that? Ask yourself. Filled with anticipation. Well, first I go up. Then I glitch up the looking system because that's what I do. Can I jump here? I fall through here. Here's my flower. A quick save. I don't do that nearly enough. That's because I'm never really certain of when to use it, really. Well, okay. Fair enough. It's because I keep forgetting, but really, it's kind of hard to tell because you only get to use it once, so you have to use it wisely. And since I'm not wise, well, yeah, I prefer not to use it in case I screw up. But yeah, it's mostly because I don't think about it. And I didn't get the mini game. How many times am I gonna have to do this level? Well, I can tell you it's at least going to be two more times, and that's if I don't die. So at least four more times. Because there's no time on this. I don't know why, but that red guy that dashes at me reminds me of the tiny little robot dudes crawling on the floor in N. 
you know? Little crawlers, you know? The things that look like tiny blue robots and when you step on the same level floor as them, they start darting towards you. Yeah, those things from M, you know, the ninja game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure no one knows what I'm talking about, so... Yeah. I'll probably play that game at some point. It's actually really tough from what I hear. Well, I ain't afraid. I'm afraid? Come at me, challenge bro! Punch you in the neck. Then glitch up your looking up system, because that's what I do. That's what I do. And that's that. And you know what? I think I may have time for one more level. Find the exit door. Okay. So it's a downwards kind of thing. Interesting. I swear the only lava in this whole thing is the fact that... Yeah, the only lava is the... Ah. Uh, the only lava in this level are the sporadic amounts that you find. The, I don't get a lava vibe from this level. I mean, yeah, the background is pretty eerie and volcano-esque, but... Yeah, it's... It doesn't scream... It doesn't utterly scream lava to me, you know? You know what I'm saying? For lava world, it's surprisingly disappointing, is what I'm trying to get at. Da -da -da, and I missed a flower. Don't care about your stupid challenges. Oh, there's a flower. I think I can speedrun too. I forgot what the time was. And I don't care. Ugh. Oh, what? Dude, get off me. That's enough. Okay, I can. I don't need uh, the other guy. I don't need you, other guy! I am my own independent teddy bear. Okay. I'm a strong, independent, plushy teddy bear. That don't need no enemies to jump across gaps. <laughs> I'm stupid, I'm sorry. Sorry that I'm not sorry! And that takes care of that. You know what, let's finish off with the boss, which I'm pretty sure is going to be really easy. Okay, so it looks kind of pooey. Yeah. Those are the combination locks, seriously, that's weird. Also, I have to admit the boss is really easy. It's like it's like Boom Boom from Super Mario Brothers 3. You jump on his head three times and poof, he's done. Okay, Sky World open. Teddy was enjoying new experiences with every jump. No sooner had he seen the lava world when a new world opened up. This world was located entirely in the sky. One errant jump and Teddy could fall from the sky. Be careful, Teddy! Alright, so Sky World is next. Um, I think this game only had three worlds from what I recall, so... I think this is the last world, so... Yeah, I'm gonna take care of the levels in there directly, and yeah, then I'll uh, move on to shenanigans in the land, the lava, and the sky. So this has been Beefy Bacana 7 with Jump Teddy. Join me in the next part where things happen. See you in the next part. Have a nice one. Okay, that's all of them. Okay, good.